And okay. I'm, gonna... I'm jumping in now. <laughs> you uh, can jump uh, in, are, like jump in Uno. You are, you are just on a roll. You're I'm just awesome. rocking it, rolling. You really are. Seriously, you are rocking. You are rocking it. <laughs> Okay, so this fast. is what I, this is, what, <laughs> no, you're, no, you got to do whatever you did. You got to duplicate it 50 billion times over because this is exactly working. But this is what I want to do. Hey guys, it's Crystal Black here. And then number five, I know it's, we're going to laugh. We're going to cry. We're going to learn. We're going to turn and burn and grow on here. It's all of the above when you listen to me, <laughs> right? You're getting the whole rainbow, <laughs> the ADHD rainbow. So number five it is sense of humor. <laughs> Speaking of that, <laughs> my one of my favorites. So yeah, no matter whether I'm happy, sad, glad, mad, I'm going to find my sense of humor in the middle of all the mess, I have to say. That's one of my favorite things about myself. And I'll encourage you guys to search within and your families and your kids and neighbors and friends, whoever has ADHD or you think you might or just the behaviors, the traits, it does overlap with a lot. You know, we're living this life. Uh, we're having a human experience. So we're not robots. So everyone who's treating yourself like a machine or a robot, please know you have permission directly from me right now to step, take inventory and actually get to know yourself and heal your inner child and your own children and break that generational trauma and you know, force of how to behave and how to be and just actually be, allow yourself to be and allow your children to be. It's very healing. So laughing, it really matters. It can cut back on stress at home to this point that they made in the article. It makes every person with ADHD feel more connected. And on the neuroscience level, I will say for the neurodiverse, it helps because there's so much going on with our levels of dopamine and norepinephrine. If you want to learn more about that, take, you know, take a gander at that online, just type in like ADHD neuroscience or neurodiversity um, science, whatever. And then type in dopamine, norepinephrine, there's serotonin, there's all different kinds of neurotransmitters, chemical levels in the brain to really consider. And you think about when we're going on that emotional roller coaster or our senses, whatever we're experiencing, like, how can I switch moods so fast? And some people can control it very easily and other people don't, you know, they're like reacting. It's more demonstrative. Um, we're all different with our personalities, but it's something to take a look at because sometimes you can feel more content, right? You're like, why do I feel peaceful and content right now? And then other times it's just, it's like, go, go, go. And you can't stop, right? With ADHD, it's like a motor's running or you're excited about something like, right? now I'm happy to be on here. I'm happy and excited to be talking about this and, you know, just thinking about connecting with everybody out there. So it's got me feeling better vibes and I'm talking and I'm a little more gregarious, but then I'll switch back into another mode later, you know, when my, my chemicals and my levels come down and I'll probably feel a little lost later for a little bit and I'll have to regulate myself as I've learned to do and why that happens instead of just feeling bad and down and going, what's wrong with me? It's like, nothing's wrong with you. You're having a human experience. And now you know about the ADHD and how to, you know, utilize some of these cool hacks to make yourself feel better and feel more connected in your own body and mind. And so that's just put that in your back pocket for yourself and your kids. But another reader wrote in, in our ADHD family, when things are tense, someone will do something crazy silly and lighten the mood we're by no means normal but i wouldn't trade the goofiness for anything carrie <laughs> totally relate to that i love it and then michelle h wrote no matter how frustrating things can be my daughter always uses her sense of humor to make others laugh and she can diffuse anything with a few words and i can say the same thing for myself my son those closest to me you know like crystal's the you know the life of the party or she's the you know she's the comedian my son Actually, we were just talking about this last night. My son in the first grade got the class comedian award and we were just looking at one of our memories from the past. His dad and I took a picture with him and he held up the certificate and he was like sm grinning from ear to ear. And I'm like, that that has been him. He's been a comedian. He's been a counselor. He's been, you know, like a teacher, a, a coach. It's like my son is all those things all this whole time and now he's 13 and I know he's just going to keep on being more and more amazing and 
So anyway, this is like a big uh, Harrison shout out. <laughs> I'm like really pumping him up. <laughs> He's going to love this later. So number six, I know we're getting there, guys. There's 13. We're six out of 13. Perseverance. Case in point, we're persevering through <laughs> no matter how many uh, little detours I take. We're going to keep coming back when we got the points. I love it. So anything is possible, right? When you keep persevering through. What do they say? Those ones you can. How can you ever beat someone who refuses to give up? <laughs> They're just like unstoppable, right? Unbeatable. So just put that in your back pocket. When you have ADHD, you do have the power of perseverance, no matter how many detours you might take or the roller coaster of emotions you feel like you're going through. You know, if you have the knowledge and the education and the know how, which is why we're doing this, you can always put those tools in your back pocket and you have these resources to reach out to, people to connect with. Please feel free to reach out to me. The email that I'm giving and the other. Um, reach out points at the end, points of contact. So please feel free. We can talk more about, you know, if you need coaching or if you just need to be pointed in a positive direction nearby your local resources. So you can go in person. Um, I'm starting to put together a program and things where I can do the coaching virtually and phone calls, videos, that kind of thing. So just put that in your back pocket. But the next one is seven. Keep, oh, keep your memory. No, it says keen memory and sense of observation, but also keep your memory. So this is an important point, And it's one of those myths and misunderstandings. ADHD doesn't always mean that you have a lack of attention. And sometimes it means you actually have an over attention, which was what we call hyperfocus. But we'll talk more about that in a second. So it can mean noticing, paying attention to everything all at once, things that other people miss, because you don't realize how much you're taking in. It's like you have this superpower of just like radiate, like I call it scanning. You know, whether I'm, I say I scan when I read, sometimes I can read super fast, but also when I go outside on my walks, I've noticed I'm scanning and taking in so much about nature, the ecosystem, sights, sounds. If I see other humans walking around, like their behavior, I am, I didn't realize that until this past year when I've been more awakened. Um, in different ways, just realizing what a keen sense of observation that I have and connecting to many other concepts. It's and the memory thing. It's like, I feel like I've lost my memory, but then I've gained it back in a whole new way. So that's a whole other topic, but just something to think about. It's kind of interesting. And then, so these readers wrote in and said, <laughs> Kelly wrote, I remember odd little factoids that I read or heard, lines from books that I read, names of long lost acquaintances, all from 20 or more years ago. And I totally relate to that. My daughter, Jules, wrote, is my little noticer. She's aware of everything around her, finds beauty in the most rush past things in our crazy lives. So I feel like that too, now that I'm actually paying attention to it and allowing myself to enjoy it. I go outside and sometimes I do, I get lost for like, a couple hours thinking I'm going to have a 30 minute walk and it ends up being two hours because I'm bending over looking at, Oh my God, look at all these wildflowers. When did these grow? Look at all these beautiful colors. And I'm suddenly like wandering in the forest nearby <laughs> and it takes me back to my childhood. And I know healing part of parts of me and the whole of me, just that inner child work that I'm talking about the creativity. It's, it's got me, yeah, just enjoying the nature more and my own senses and just appreciating things. And it really takes you out of feeling like you're indoors so much. Like you're on the electronics, on these laptops, on our phones, right? You have the pressure from work, your bot, whatever it is, you're, you're doing it to yourself. It's like, I've just learned, God, just get outside. Just go take a walk, I'll walk it off, I'll walk it off. Walk off the crazy, walk off the stress, uh, whether you're listening to music or just sounds of nature. It's just one of the things that I've learned as a tool just to utilize and for yourself, your kids, anyone you might know. And then the last reader wrote here, Kelly F. My daughter may look like she's jumping around and not paying attention, but she remembers every little detail that she notices down to what you're wearing to that thing you told her six months ago, which is kind of freaky creepy right sometimes it, it creeps us out when people remember so many details or like if it's really nuanced things like oh my 
God. So you feel like, why, how am I going to get away with anything? <laughs> the kids are so smart. Like, I don't feel like adults, even as parents, we give kids enough credit how amazingly smart they are and how much we need to help them keep being themselves and keep just absorbing, but also protecting themselves and being creative and figuring out what they actually want to do in life. How do you want to live your life? I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm going to teach you how you can do that and give you good boundaries and tools, right? Guides for living, like your roadmap to life, whatever. But I hope I'm not just speaking for myself when I say I want my son to live the best, happiest, most joyful, just experience filled life possible. And I hope everybody feels like that for ourselves and for our kids. Okay, guys, I know we've been talking a while, talking about superpowers, the positive outcomes of ADHD over here with the Attitude Magazine, which, by the way, they're celebrating 25 years of being amazing. And you can get, again, on their website, it's attitudemag.com. Tons of resources, blogs, newsletters, professional advice, and uh, articles, just like the one we're talking about. But we went all the way through number seven. Um, and I did not realize how much fun I was going to be having on here. So I'm actually going to come in for round two and split this up for you. So you are welcome. I'm going to recap real quick for you though. So it can jog your memory. You can see what you're most interested in. If you want to flag anything we're doing, number one, we talked about creativity, tenacity is the number one superpower. Number two, problem solving, which one of my favorite points out of that, uh, paragraph was talking about brain art and creative hacks and just living your life as art, right? Number three, imagination, creativity, something we can really just think about again for ourselves and for our children, our families. Number four, compassion. And I'll bring in that other word again, empathy. Uh, they go hand in hand, which is slightly different. If you want to look up the definitions, we'll chat about that later. <laughs> when do we finish up all of this though? Number five, sense of humor. As you know, I love, it's very important. It's important for everyone living life, but especially ADHD to keep us laughing and keep those uh, levels in our brain and our chemicals, those neurotransmitters rolling. Okay. Number six, perseverance, AKA I like the word determination and tenacity, but perseverance. And then number seven, we all went through this one, keen memory and sense of observation, which like I was saying, I've been noticing just more and more as I go outside in nature and all the things I'm observing and like connecting in the ecosystem. And then in my own life, I'm like, how am I making all these conceptualizations and like connections? It's, it must be my amazing ADHD superpower. So whatever I need to tell myself, right guys. And that goes with you as well. I will shout out my contact information real quick again, just in case you didn't hear it before it is email crystal Nicole black 2023 at gmail.com. You can find me on Instagram on IG. It's at crystal Nicole black. And then I'll shout out my Twitter just so I don't give you a whole slew of ones to check out. It's at crystal PR pro. Uh, but I'm excited to go through this next round with you guys. So here I will talk to you and see you real soon. <laughs>